A sellout crowd of 10,000 turned out for what was billed as the biggest ever club match in the city of Glasgow's history. Munster had made the semi finals four times in the last five seasons, but had only reached the final once in that time back in 2011. It was a first ever home semi for Warriors, having reached this stage for the third successive season off the back of eight wins in a row. It was a much changed Glasgow 15, with the headline omission that of Stuart Hogg at full back, with Peter Murchie taking the number 15 jersey. The early exchanges were tight with no shortage of big hits and in the 10th minute after one such tackle Alex Dunbar and Keith Earls became involved in a confrontation that resulted in the pair locking antlers under the posts as the play continued. A sign perhaps of the intensity that was to follow over the course of the game. Munster pressed the Glasgow line and had a couple of attempts to strike the killer blow but were repelled each time. That was until captain Damien Varley picked and dived over the line for the opening score of the match. The referee, Marius Mitrea, checked with the TMO about the seriousness of the fight and whether he could award the try. Earls and Dunbar escaped censure and the try was awarded. A third try of the campaign for the Munster hooker. Ian Keatley landed the conversion for a 7-0 lead. In 17 minutes, Warriors notched their first points of the encounter, a Finn Russell penalty. Then on the half-hour mark, Munster came close to a second try. Simon Zebo thought he was in. But the referee once again went to the TMO for clarification. And after what seemed an eternity, the word came back that it wasn't a try, much to Munster's frustration. But it remained 7-3 in Rob Penny's oh, side's oh, favour. OK, thank you. No try. But Glasgow eased to within a point of the Irish side when Russell landed his second penalty of the first period, bringing it back to six points to seven, with four minutes of the half remaining. And when the referee penalised the monster scrum, it gave the home side a chance to go into the lead just before half-time. Varley was clearly unhappy with the decision, but the referee's mind was made up. Straight down. Back 10, please. How are we going straight down? The loser is angling in. They've got a ref fairly. It's all a match. Russell slotted the kick between the posts to see the home side ahead for the first time in the game. At the break, it was Glasgow 9, Monster 7. Six minutes after the restart, Glasgow increased their lead with a hard-earned score in the corner. Munster were holding out on their own line until substitute prop Gordon Reid made a lunge for the line from close range and his sheer brute strength was enough to get him over for an important score. The man from Irvine getting his second try of the campaign, the other came the previous week against Treviso. Russell kicked a lovely conversion to give Warriors a 16-7 lead. But having played in so many semi-finals over the years, Munster were experienced enough not to panic, and they responded in perfect fashion with a try of their own just a few minutes later. And to rub salt into Glasgow's wounds, it was a Scotsman who inflicted the damage. Sean Dougal applying the final touch, diving over for the five points. Keatley missed the conversion, but it was back to 16-12 with just under half an hour to go. On 66 minutes, Munster dragged themselves back to within a point of the home side when Keatley kicked a penalty. In somewhat unconvincing fashion, it has to be said, but it just about made it. And it was Warrior 16, Munster 15, and a titanic finish was in store. Neither side could add to that score, but they both gave it everything. Glasgow came closest when Tommy Seymour intercepted JJ Hanrahan's ambitious pass. But with the score looking likely, Zebo got back to haul him down and prevent a certain try.
but the men in red were unable to get a decisive score themselves. And with the clock past 80 minutes, they launched one last hopeful attack from inside their own half. But they couldn't get into drop goal territory with Warriors defending bravely. And when the full time whistle blew, Scottston erupted. Gregor Townsend danced a jig. And the 10,000 sellout crowd celebrated a semi final victory at last, having witnessed their side's defeat in the previous five semis they'd played in. So Glasgow Warriors through to the final on the 31st of May. Munster bow out. Rob Penny's last game in charge of the Irish side before he goes to Japan. A sad end to his reign. Glasgow the victors after a hugely intense game. Final score, Glasgow Warriors 16, Munster 15.